Hey YouTubers, JNB here from JB Coins. We scored five rolls of the Frank Church River of No Return 2019 quarters. Brand new issue. Found th this set of coins, uh, this set of rolls, to be a little bit odd. And we'll show you why. This is uh, a Denver roll and it's labeled NF string which is one of our favorite companies to see on a roll and got Denver's on both sides then we have this one here that shows the Denver and it shows the coin so we've got we've got two that say NF string and they're both Denver's then we have three here that are river of no return and it says so right on the wrapper but they're from philadelphia but they don't say nf string they're slightly different orange and white wrapper but they're both new issue they're both I suspect NF string, but I've never seen a roll come from the wrapping company labeled like that. Usually, like when we went to um, Cumberland Island or the, any of the other coin launchers that we've gone to that we've done videos on, we had to stamp at the gift shop ourselves onto the rolls. And it was literally a black ink stamp uh, that they had available there. So to have the wrappers actually have this on there really, really adds some questions of why can't we order them that way? And how, why did they come this way? Th these are Philadelphia, okay? We, we marked them so we wouldn't get them confused. So I'm going to go ahead and open these rolls uh, live on camera. And we're going to keep them separated so we can see if there's a difference. We're going to start with the Denvers. We'll keep these Philadelphias that are marked River of No Return. We'll set them off to the side. I'm going to actually put on gloves since we know these are new issue. And we're hoping we find W's. We want to see if there's a difference between the Denver wrappers that say NF String and the Philadelphia wrappers that actually say Frank Church River of No Return. Look how shiny. That always amazes me how shiny those things are when they're new. Okay, Denver. Denver, 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 they're in nice shape too, Denver, 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 Denver. Denver. See, we're not assuming that we won't find the W's in the Denver rolls because they are supposedly mixed in both. But we're used to only getting brand new issue Philadelphia rolls where we used to live. So Denver. 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 Denver, 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 Denver. <laughs> that probably gets a little monotonous after a while, so I'll just keep flipping them. Whoop, and if I see a W, then I'll make a comment. So one of the things we're curious about with these with these marked rolls is 
why can't we order them that way? You know, whenever we go to the bank and we say we'd like to order brand new issue quarters, they tell us that they can't do that. They can only put in an order for a box, but they can't designate brand new issue. Now, the bank that we had such success with in South Carolina, they were getting us brand new issue boxes. They said they were asking for them, and they were getting them. Not always, but they were getting them. So, so we'll be curious to see when we get through with these Denvers. A, do we find any W's in here? And B, when we get into those Philadelphias, do we find any there? And then we have to see if we can try and find somebody that'll order an F string with that marking on it. Wouldn't that be cool? See, a lot of people think that the coins, when they're new issue like this, come from the Mint or the Treasury or the Fed, and they don't. They go from the Mint to wrapping companies like Loomis, NF String, Brinks, who wrap them. And in an NF Strings case, it can go just about to any armored car company. Um... Last two. Okay, so we didn't find any W's in the Denver's, and as usual, being Denver quarters, they look beautiful. But we're looking for W's. So let's see what we find in the 2019 Frank Church River of No Return Philadelphia roll. These two off just a little bit so we have room. Philly. Philly. These are actually in pretty nice shape considering it's Philadelphia. Now this one's got a little bit of scratches on it, bag marks. And obviously we don't know yet if there's any errors or varieties to be had on the Philadelphia or the Denver coins yet either. Okay, so nothing in that first roll. But I mean, how cool is that? That they're actually labeled. We've never, ever, ever seen that on any of the America the Beautiful quarters.
And I'm going to keep that last wrapper intact so we can try and use it at the bank and see if it gets us anywhere. So far, all peas. Nothing in the second roll. Okay, so I'm opening it, but I'm gonna not crumple up and throw away this wrapper like I normally do. I'm gonna open it up into my hand and I'm gonna keep it this way so that we can take it to the bank and show them that they can be ordered that way. And the bank that we use usually supplies us NF string. So they should be able to order those. So it'll be real interesting to see what the response is. What do you guys think? You think that you think that we're going to be able to find and source those that are labeled like that? I mean, so far we haven't found a W, but it's only it's only three rolls from Philadelphia and two from Denver. So keeps trying to slide out of my hand that's why I hate hunting with gloves but when you're doing something like this that's new ah, new issue you really should wear gloves because a new coin will take a thumbprint I mean any coin will but you know if you find a W and you put a thumbprint in the middle of it you're gonna be really upset nope no W's so we didn't find any W's in there but that wrapper still is is really nagging at us. Um, we're going to go to our bank and see if we can order um, quarters with that label on it. And if we do score that, obviously we will do another video and update you on what happens. But let us know in the comments what you think, whether you think that, um, that this is kind of a one-off thing or if any of you have seen mark wrappers like this let us know uh in the comment section because it's it's the first time we've ever seen it and we'd like to find out if it's more common than we realize so hopefully you guys liked watching the search and checking out the mark wrappers and please remember to like share subscribe become a member and see you in the next video j and b signing out